Apple's Scary Fast event was uh, scary fast. I hate to use that pun, but here's everything that Apple announced at the event. And honestly, it wasn't much. It was all about the Mac, which we already knew. It was starting with the launch of the new M3 chip lineup. And so now we have, for the first time, all three chips at the same time. So you get the M3, the M3 Pro, and the M3 Max. The first machines to get all three of these will be the new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. The M3 lineup are the first chips for a PC using three nanometer technology, which will obviously bring huge improvements to the Mac, but more importantly, focusing on the GPU. It also brings hardware accelerated ray tracing to the Mac for the first time, which is a really big deal for gaming and the future of gaming on the Mac. Now, in terms of some quick numbers, the standard M3 chip has an eight core CPU and a 10 core GPU. The M3 Pro has a 12 core CPU and an 18 core GPU or up to, and the M3 Max chip has up to a 16 core CPU and up to a 40 core GPU. The M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max chips support up to 24 gigabytes, 36 gigabytes, and 128 gigabytes of unified memory, respectively. And if we can translate all of that into like some speed, the M3 chip is like 60% faster than the M1, 40% faster than the M2. M3 Pro is now 40% faster than the M1 Pro and 20% faster than the M2 Pro. And with the M3 Max, it's two and a half times faster than the 16 inch MacBook Pro running the M1 Max and two times faster than the M2 Max. The 14 inch model can be purchased with the M3, M3 Pro and M3 Max chips, while the 16 inch model can only be purchased with the M3 Pro and M3 Max. Pricing on the 14 inch MacBook Pro starts at $1599, a new low, while the 16 inch MacBook Pro starts at $2499. Other than that, the MacBook Pro is pretty much the exact same as all the other models, except for this brand new space black black color, which at first looked pretty underwhelming, but then when you saw a few real world shots of it, I actually think it looks really, really good. Apple calls the new MacBook Pro in space black a gorgeous dark aluminum finish with a breakthrough anodization method that resists fingerprints. So that'll be something I need to test. And the enclosure is created from a custom alloy that uses 100% recycled aluminum and is described as very durable. You can order the new MacBook Pros right now and they will ship out next week, depending on which model you get. I've noticed that uh, some will come on the 7th and some will actually just be anytime between the 9th and the 13th. I've noticed that with the 16 inch max version. So something to keep in mind. Apple is updating the 24 inch iMac with the M3 chip. No pro or max chip for the iMac, obviously. And it retains the same seven color options. And for those upgrading from an Intel based iMac, Apple says that this new iMac is up to two and a half times faster than previous 27 inch models and four and a half times faster than previous 21 and a half inch models. The iMac starts at the same $12.99 price tag and it's available to order right now with orders shipping out to customers on Tuesday, November 7th. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hate to use that pun again, but it was a pretty much a scary fast event. It was over in like 30 minutes. So let me know what you think about everything in the comments down below. If you're planning to order anything, pick up any of these new MacBooks or iMacs, go ahead and let me know. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.